I did buy another accessory. Okay, I bought um, another battery eliminator kit from B&H Photo. And this is supposed to be a battery eliminator kit for the GoPro Hero 4. They advertise it for the GoPro Hero 4, but it also works for the GoPro Hero 3. Because on the old one, I have it right here. This is what I used to have. This is the this is the go the battery limiter kit for the GoPro Hero 3. And there's the battery compartment. And you just go ahead and put that in there and it connects to where the battery connects, right? So that's for the Hero 3, which I was using before. But because of the back door, because of this new back door, I can't use this one. I can't use this one because the cable won't be able to go ahead and wrap its way through. So I took the chance and I bought the battery eliminator kit for the GoPro Hero 4 because the Hero 3 still has this little connection right here, this little 30 pin connection right here. So I got lucky, I bought it, I plugged it in. Does it go like this? I plugged it in. See, there's no battery. I got that plugged in right here. I brought my little battery with me. Put it in. Push the button. Turn on the camera. Boom. I got power. Seven hours and 50 minutes of record time. I'm going to run out of space on the memory card before I run out of battery. So, the battery eliminator kit for the GoPro Hero 4 will also work on your GoPro Hero 3 because the Hero 3 still has this 30 pin connector right here on the side and it shut off. So I got lucky and it works. The only downside is, let's put it in here. Let's close up the new back door, lock it up, the edge, of the back door goes right up to the edge of the 30 pin connector and it doesn't leave room for the housing around the 30 pin connector so oh did it maybe i just had to muscle it in i was scared to bend this 30 pin connector because you bend that it's fucked Oh, discovery. We just made a discovery together. It still works. I guess I just have to muscle it in. I just have to muscle it in. I thought it's just a really snug fit. Yeah, it's got this plastic still on it. It's just a really snug fit and I'm afraid. Okay, let's pause this right here. Do you see how my right hand is grabbing the cable and trying to pull it to disconnect it from the GoPro? Never, ever, ever do this. I tried doing this on a separate day and I accidentally pulled some of the cable from the connection and now I have exposed wires. One more good yank and I'm going to rip it from the connection and throw money down the drain because it won't longer work. So do what I'm about to do and take the time to open up the GoPro housing, grab it by the 30 pin connection itself and then disconnect it. It's going to save you some headache and it's going to save you some money. Do what I'm about to do. See? Oh, shit. See? That's a really, really tight fit. Now I can't get it out, bro. Are you serious? Okay, there we go. Oh, see, look. I, I pulled a little bit of the plastic. It's just I don't want to bend this connector and I don't want to bend the connectors in there so I was afraid of just muscling, muscle, muscling it in there and I guess that's what you have to do. Let me take off this plastic right here. But it fits. It turns on. You just gotta muscle it in there. And then I can go ahead and put that in there and then run this cable down into the jacket when I'm on those very long hauls. But if I'm just going to be around town, I can just go use the batteries like I'm doing. Um, so far, so good. Boom. All right. So 
what do we have today for a recap? I have the battery eliminator kit for the GoPro Hero 4 works for the GoPro Hero 3. Boom, okay? I have a cheap lapel microphone that I got on Amazon. It's three of them for seven bucks. It's a good deal. I'm not worried about super high quality audio because I'm on a scooter, man. I'm riding around town. There's exhaust noise, there's car noise, there's wind noise, it's whatever. Cheap lapel microphone. I got a microphone adapter for the GoPro. So I got the new GoPro housing. I got it in blue just to match the helmet a little bit. I got the new back door with the mount on it. That goes right there. That plugs in right there. Boom. And that is the new helmet setup for the Icon Armada in the Doodle Graphic. I'm going with the chin mount point of view. It's gonna give me a wider field of view. But I'm gonna be able to capture more um, with it being up front. The helmet's not gonna block part of the frame. I'm not gonna have the GoPro on the side causing drag or blocking some of this beautiful graphic. And that right there is the GoPro chin mount on the new Icon Armada Doodle Graphic. Um, but thank you very much for spending your time with me. I appreciate the thumbs up. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate those shares and the subscribes if you haven't subscribed yet. Until next time, ride safe, stay safe. Subject detected, 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 detected.